Hello everyone, my name is Liddy and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a manga haul, so it'll be kind of a collective manga haul at which I've been doing for a while now. I've been pretty much only doing collective manga hauls recently, mainly because I kind of like opening packages as they come, so I felt like this was a really good way to do that and yeah, and I hope you enjoy as well. So yeah, let's get into some packages. I have quite a few used parcels and eBay parcels as well. So I'm really excited. Let's get into it. I'm going to first open this Water Books parcel over here. Let's see what it is. And oh, I see what it is. We got Fruits Basket Volume 10. So this one looks quite battered and it is $2.99 on the sticker. I think I got it for around six pounds or something, so I got scammed because it says two ninety nine. But yeah, anyways, I've been starting to recollect the Fruits Basket Collector's Editions because I actually never finished collecting them and I thought it might be time to start collecting them again and actually finish the series. I've only ever watched the anime. The quality is actually okay, the spine's good. It's just a little bit dirty and slightly brown on the edges, but other than that, it's in okay condition. And I've got this one. I think this is also an eBay. This is an eBay package. Let me check. All right, so we have, oh, we have Gate 7 Volume 2. So I actually found this on We Buy Books, which is a online used bookstore on eBay. And they had Volume 2 and Volume 3 up for sale. And they've sent me Volume 1. I'm hoping they sent me Volume 3 as well, but we'll see. I hope they did. But this one is a clamp title that was never finished, but I decided to get it. And oh my god, look at the artwork. <laughs> it looks stunning. But yeah, excited to have this and trying to complete more clamp series in my collection, which is really exciting. And then we got another Water Books parcel in the old packaging. And we've got, okay, so we got Days on Fairs Volume 3 and Volume 5. So I actually read the first volume of Days on Fest recently and actually really, really enjoyed it. I read it in one of my, I think it was like the lowest reads, lowest rated reads on Goodreads video. I don't know if it's going to be out by the time this haul is out, but if it is, I'll link it somewhere over here. And yeah, so I really enjoyed it and I saw all the rest of the volumes that I needed on World of Books so I decided to get it and I've got volume 3 and 5 and volume 4 should be on its way as well so yeah this one is basically a very slice of life story about uh, festivals like music festivals and it's basically about a girl who ends up going to a music festival for the first time because her friend really wants to go and she's like okay we'll try it and then she basically falls in love with music festivals and yeah, it just gave me a really nice feeling of like nostalgia in terms of when I was younger. I used to go out and like go parties and stuff like that and hang out with friends till like late in the night. And it just kind of reminded me of those times. I obviously don't do that as much anymore now that I'm older and have like adult responsibilities. So yeah, it definitely gave me that kind of nostalgic feeling of kind of, you know, living your life and being very free and stuff like that. So I really, really enjoyed it and excited to continue the series. And then got a chunky water books parcel here. I ended up making a big order recently because I found lots of things that I actually wanted to get. And if you notice, I have a new setup. I basically have a new desk, which I think you'll have seen the desk or room makeover. I'll definitely link it somewhere, but I moved all my desk like completely and the whole kind of room and now it looks really great. And this desk has a lot of space now for me to be able to like film on there. So that's why I'm using this setup. So I hope you enjoy that. And the first one here on top is School Zone Girls Volume 2. This one is practically new. I love that. It's from Seven Seas and it's basically a high school kind of GL series. And some people on the YouTubes, that sounds so lame, but 
some manga tuber was talking about this series and not a lot of people talk about it but they were talking about it saying that they really enjoy it so I got volume 2 as it was at a really good price on World of Books. Oh and then we've got How's Moving Castle by Hao Miyazaki. This one is the film comic edition as you can see it basically follows the film and I recently watched How's Moving Castle again with the Manga Dudes Discord and I've watched this film many many times honestly like I can't really count how many because I love it so much and I decided you know what I'm gonna get the film comic and I saw these on Water Books 1 to 4 and I nabbed them so I got 1 and 4. I didn't know these were so thin and dense though but I'm glad I got them and I'm able to have this in my collection for a really really cheap price and then I got I don't really know how to pronounce it but Ennio and Dawila this one is by the same mangaka who did Witch Hat Atelier and you might have known but I pretty much binge read 1 to 11 of Witch Hat Atelier in the month of May and absolutely adored it. It is so good. I'm so excited for volume 12. I have it ordered on Sci-Fi and I'm just waiting for it to arrive but super excited. So I ended up looking at some of the other series that they had done and this was one of them. A lot of people say it's not as good as Witch Hat obviously but... I really wanted to get it because I really want to support the author because I love their work and I love their art style as well so I decided to get it and yeah it looks really good super excited to try even if I know people aren't like super amazed about the story and then the next one is Tokyo Taro Reiba Girls this one is by the person who did Princess Jellyfish, Akiko Higam Higashimura and I actually started reading Princess Jellyfish online just to see if I wanted to get it and to see if I liked it because I was really thinking of getting the box set, the Princess Jellyfish box set and obviously I didn't want to invest in buying a box set unless I've read the story before because I've already done that many times I was like you know what I'm gonna hold off on buying the box set until I've read a bit of it at least and I really enjoyed it I read at least the first two volumes and I was like okay I'm gonna save up now and get the box set so I'm definitely gonna be getting the box set soon but I saw their other work Tokyo Tara Reba Girls on Wob for really cheap I think it was like three pounds so I picked it up and yeah I want to try and see if I like this one too all right this one is the last world of books parcel and then I have another used parcel to unbox from eBay Ooh, okay I'm so excited it's a lot of stuff in here oh very nice this is annoying it kind of got scuffed over here because of the packaging but if you know what it is you'll recognize that's annoying it kind of got bent because of the way they packaged it but yeah I got scribbles volume one and scribbles volume two by Kaoru Mori they actually look really good condition so I'm really happy actually about the condition of these volumes they're in hardcover and they do have like dust jackets so I was afraid that it would be really wrecked and it wouldn't come in very well packaged but it's actually really good just a little bit of the dent at the start but I think we just flattened that out but yeah this is Kaoru Mori's like sketchbook works in hardcover format so it basically features a lot of her sketchbook stuff and a little bit of a description on what she's drawing and I love Kaoru Mori, I love her work. I am starting to also want to collect Emma as well. I absolutely love Kaoru Mori's art style as well as her works and also I love A Bride's Story, it's one of my favourite mangas. I don't really talk about it much because I read it a while ago but I have started to recollect it again. So yeah, I decided that I wanted to collect as much of her work to support her and I saw these on World of Books for very good price. These were like six pounds each which is incredible price for hardcover volumes like this and yeah I just got it and I'm really excited to have these in my collection. Love that! 
And then I got Hao Miyazaki's Howl's Moving Castle Volume 2. And then I got Kaguya Sama Love is War Volume 17. I'm continuously collecting this when I find it used and for a good price and it was like four pounds so I decided to get it and then another new one that I decided to get was Boys Run the Riot so yeah this one is about a transgender teen who doesn't really want to conform to society's ideals of you know the gender in which they were biologically born as and they are obviously trying to break into the industry to try and create fashion that they feel like fits them and also feels like it will fit their you know happiness and not the mold of society because I think at school they are forced to basically wear a female school uniform but they don't obviously feel comfortable in it because they you know identify themselves as trans so it kind of explores that and I think they find like this person who ends up helping them you know create this like new fashion brand and things like that so I was really interested in reading this because obviously it has transgender representation and I don't really have many manga that has that I don't know if it's very good transgender representation but I heard it is and I heard also hired or like there was like translators who were all hired and they are all trans translators as well so there's a lot of really good involvement within the LGBTQ community for this so I thought that was really cool and I think the author is also trans so I really wanted to support it and also read this for Pride Month as well so yeah that's why I got Boys Run the Riot I heard it's really good so I'm excited to start this on Pride Month so I have this parcel here and it has like my address and the sender's address all over it so I'm gonna unbox it and then I will show you what's inside first all right so I did the unboxing and as you can see I got the singles of Angelic Leia I got I actually saw a listing of this on eBay and it was like 30 pounds and I shared it on the discord and then the more I thought about it the more I was like you know what I actually want these singles myself so I ended up purchasing it myself so we got volume one here and then we got volume two and then volume three four and then obviously five so I'm not sure why volume one is wrapped but in general the volume of these conditions are amazing like if you look at the spines there's a little bit of fading on these two volumes and this one has a different spine obviously but the overall condition is like stunningly well cared for like no bits missing no cracks or anything like that so I'm super happy and it's the white versions as well which is interesting because I know Tokyo Pop printed Angelic Leia in like a blue background version and the white version so the singles here are actually really hard to find now so I was super amazed to see it on eBay I just had to get it because I love Angelic Leia a lot it's one of my childhood favorites in terms of anime and I've never actually read the manga but I do prefer reading singles and omnibuses so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the omnibuses but I will definitely keep these ones because I really like single versions and yeah it's just to add to my camp collection again. So yeah this was everything I got in this part of the haul. I will go to the next clip because I think I have a few more bits coming for this collective haul. So yeah really excited about these used volumes. Everything here was used and it all looks in really good condition so I'm really happy. Hi, so I'm just on my way to actually leave for MCM London. I'm going to go see Cake Tins and also Himaka and I might also see Kitsune which is really really exciting. I'm super excited and we're going to go to MCM Expo. We're going to meet up later as well in Forbidden Planet and then also have dinner together. So I am super excited to see those three girls and it's going to be an amazing time and we're going to go 
ransack the forbidden planet london as well as the artist alley in mcm expo so yeah i just wanted to quickly drop in to show some of the packages i got i got three packages uh yesterday and i just wanted to quickly open them before i left for mcm expo so, so all of these are from world of books as you saw in my previous haul i was buying a lot of world of books parcels so yeah let's open them. so this is the first one and the first one we have here is oh so it's nodame cantabile i don't know how to exactly pronounce this but this is a really old shoujo or jose i think it's jose really old jose series that actually had okay so the doorbell just rang so i ran and there's another package so i'll probably open this as well so as i was saying this is an older shoujo series about a girl who plays piano and then another guy who plays another instrument i don't remember but i think they bond over their love of music and yeah this is one of the older series that i used to really love the anime for i watched the anime and absolutely love the anime and then someone on the dude's disc called maho they basically sent us a listing on there that showed that showed someone who was selling that series it was like a charity they were doing it for charity and they were selling a bunch of these volumes and it was an ebay listing so i ended up bidding on it and then i also ended up winning so yeah i ended up starting to collect this series now so i have like pretty much all the volumes i ended up finding like bits and pieces here and there I think the listing only had around 10 volumes and obviously this never got fully released because I think it stopped printing at around 16 volumes and then Kodansha I think took it over and released them all digitally so there's only 16 volumes out and I have now around 30 no fifth no 14 out of 16 volumes and I found like stuff here and there on eBay and things like that so yeah really happy to have this and include it in my collection now and then i've got another parcel and we've got days on fairs volume four so this completes my days on fairs collection which is really really exciting really loved this series actually when i read the first volume for one of my uh videos so yeah love this it's about festivals and about how these group of people come together and enjoy festivals very slice of life but very fun and the next parcel Alright, and so our missing House Moving Castle volume has arrived, volume 3. Super happy to have this. I actually read the first two volumes already when I opened them and really loved it. I mean, it follows the anime very closely, so it's very easy to read through. And yeah, I just love this series. If you haven't watched the anime movie, definitely watch it. It's really, really good. And then I think I know what this is. So let's have a look what it is. All right, so we got two extra volumes of Nodame Cantabile. I don't know if that's how you say it. Do correct me if I'm completely butchering it and saying it wrong. But these are the two volumes that I found on eBay that were missing from the eBay listing. So this seller Ace Comics was selling them basically new, they said. So it's new and it's volume five and six. It actually looks really new, actually except for the yellowing obviously but i think it's probably just shelving issue that is so yellow but it's like no scuffs on the spines and it looks really good condition so yeah i got volume five and then i got volume six sorry the covers are kind of reflecting off the sun but yeah super happy to have this and pretty much nearly complete my collection of this series i mean i'm super excited to revisit this story once again and it's been so long since i watched the anime and i loved it so definitely check out the anime it's really hard to find these volumes now so I was really happy that I got that eBay listing from Maho. So thank you so much, Maho, if you're watching. I ended up getting the series for like, I think it was £24 for 10 volumes of this series, which is insane. So I'm really happy. These two volumes were a little bit more expensive. They were both 
around seven pounds each yeah so these two were around seven pound each which in my opinion is still okay for volumes of series that is quite hard to find now and considering i got the volumes or earlier like 10 of the earlier volumes for so cheap i it just makes up for it anyways in terms of money per volume because you know 24 pounds for 10 of these volumes is like £2.40 per volume so this really doesn't make much of a dent so yeah super happy to have this in my collection now so yeah this was the small little haul for this segment I'll definitely have another clip of showing me probably receiving the eBay listing that I talked about for this series so yeah I'll see you in the next clip Hi, so just jumping in here because I just got back from MCM Expo. I am exhausted, but it was so much fun. It was so fun to meet Caitlin and also Himika. Shout out to those girls. They're amazing. I love them so much. And it was so fun hanging out with them and also hanging out with Caitlin during MCM Expo. It was so fun. We bought a ton of stuff and a whole video is definitely coming on what I bought manga wise as well as merch so yeah I look a little bit raggedy right now but I just wanted to open a package really quickly because I basically got a package that was waiting on my porch the whole time so it was just like outside in front of my door the whole time I was gone <laughs> and yeah it's lucky that I do live in a very safe neighborhood so it wasn't stolen or anything it was just literally there and it's been there at my porch since 3 p.m and I got back around 11 so yeah very lucky that it's still there but this is basically the series that I was talking about in my previous clip about a series that I got on an eBay listing and it came today so I just wanted to quickly unbox it with you guys whilst I am you know feeling up for it so yeah let's round off the video with this last package and I'm gonna open it here so but yeah MCM Expo was really fun I'm definitely planning to go probably next time as well maybe in October definitely it was so fun it was so fun to hang out with Caitlin as well as buy so much merch I've got so much merch that I'm really happy about I bought loads of merch but also it was like prints and stuff and just like loads of cool things and there was a lot of manga there as well there was a Yempra store that was also with Kadansha and then there was also a Viz place and then there was also Traveling Man there as well and then some other independent publishers that also held like manga so that was really good and they were quite discounted the Empress and Kodansha store had buy four no, buy three get the fourth free so I bought like quite a few things from there as well so really excited about that but yeah let's open this up got loads of packaging and see what we got in here so we got volume two of Not the Make on the Bale. It's very it's in good condition. I don't know the 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 volumes are actually in good condition, but they are a little bit like discolored a little bit, but it's not too bad. And then I got volume three. Suki is here to play with the paper. And then I got volume four. I'm so happy that I got this listing it was i think i got it for 24 pounds or 26 pounds i got eight volume 15 over here and volume, nine. And volume 10 volume 11 this one feels very different it feels like very thick paper for some reason and then the last one volume 12 Amazing. So we got 10 volumes of Noda Mercantabile. So happy to have this in my collection. So I just need two more volumes to complete this collection. The other two volumes that I've looked at, I think it's volume... I think it was volume 13 and volume 14 are really really hard to find so if anyone ever finds them you know for a good price definitely give give me a contact and let me know and send me over the link I'll be really appreciative of you but yeah look at that I'm so happy but yeah 
I never really thought I'd collect this series but because of the really cheap eBay listing I couldn't resist and I'm really happy to have this now so yeah but yeah I still think I'm waiting for about two more volumes in the mail to come so I will haul those two and then that will probably be at the end of the collective haul for now. I think I've hauled quite a lot already in this one. But yeah, a MCM Expo video will be coming as well as that haul, so stay tuned for that. It was really, really fun. So happy that I went. But yeah, on to the final clip of when I received those last two volumes. Hi everyone! It's another day and I have, I think, three more volumes of manga to share with you today. I pretty much have gotten all my packages now and I'm just waiting for some sci-fi parcels which will come in a separate video but I just wanted to show you everything used I got so this is basically a secondhand haul so that's really fun but yeah the first volume I already opened because I was really confused at what it was and it is Attack on Titan volume 26 I now only need two more volumes of Attack on Titan to finish my Attack on Titan collection and then one day read through it. I think Attack on Titan is quite dense in general in terms of the story and obviously knowing all like the political elements and things like that and yeah I, I mean I've watched the anime, I love the anime, I still haven't continued it or finished it so I need to do that soon but yeah I am interested to see how it is in the manga format and i'm sure there's loads of more information that i probably missed that wasn't in anime so yeah excited to have this now and really glad that i was able to collect all of it used and the next volume i got was nodame cantabile this one is volume 16 and it is the last volume that i got from this series that i could find so i just need volume 13 and volume 14 now to complete what's out physically because after 16 they basically released the rest of the volumes digitally and not physically so this is the last one that came out physically which is a little bit sad but yeah i'll have to read the rest of the series online once i do start reading this series unfortunately but it's really nice to have a nice run of this in my collection now and the last volume here it has my address all over it but it's basically from a seller in the US. I wanted to get this Gate 7 Volume 4 and this seller had it but it was like in acceptable condition and I have never ever ordered anything in acceptable condition and because this volume is so rare and so hard to find and I basically got it for like £8 which is still expensive but definitely not as expensive as what it was going for which is like 40 to 50 pounds online and sometimes you can't even find it so i thought i'll try test it out to see what i get that is considered acceptable condition so we'll find out together on this video all right as you can see i'm pulling it out oh okay it's not bad wait it's not actually that bad okay this one actually has the dark horse imprint though which is interesting i didn't know it was i actually didn't know this was printed by dark horse which is interesting and it's volume four of gate seven and the artwork is stunning of course as you can see but i'm actually really happy with this quality of volume holy crap it's it's sometimes better quality than some of the very good volumes that i got from water books which is insane so i'm really happy with that like acceptable condition i think this is pretty good i think this i would say it's in good condition because it does have like minor scuffs here and there and it's a little bit yellowed but considering wow i'm really happy with this yeah so that was gate 7 volume 4 very rare volume that is quite hard to find now but i found it obviously on this us seller on amazon and they were selling it for eight pounds and i just nabbed it to try and see what condition it'll come in and it was really annoying because i actually ordered volume three on we buy books but then i think they had it in a different area as well because you know how like some used booksellers they kind of put their platform on multiple third-party sellers so they put it on amazon and then ebay and then somewhere else and stuff like that and i think they had it also on amazon and I think it went out of stock and someone bought it before they processed my order so volume 3 is now not coming so I need to find volume 3 
one day hopefully and be able to finish this series it's only four volumes and it never got continued apparently people say it's really crap anyways so it's like not was not worth continuing this series but as a camp collector i decided to get it and yeah i'm really happy with the quality of this volume so yeah short and sweet on this clip these are the three volumes that i got and this is probably the end of now my collective haul for this video hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the secondhand goodness and all the quality of volumes that come with secondhand because sometimes it's very much a hit or miss with secondhand they advertise it in a certain way because obviously it's kind of automated in terms of the way things are processed in like secondhand stores so you never know what you're gonna get they might say that it's very good but it ends up coming crap and then it might say it's like crap so like acceptable and it comes pretty pretty darn nicely so i'm pretty happy with what i got and also the volumes of series that i got this time i got a really nice rare series this haul so i'm really happy a little bit more clamp things and some other stuff from water books that were really cheap and i'm really happy and excited to start some of these things so yeah hope you enjoyed this video as always like comment and also subscribe if you haven't already for more manga content also i have some affiliate codes down below that will really help the channel if you use those as well and i will see you in my next video bye